Hi, this is Pat the Bullet Woodsman here. And um, for all of you that are wondering about the name, it is Bullet. It's actually from a bourbon, a Kentucky bourbon whiskey called Bullet Bourbon. They make it in a rye mash too. It's my favorite whiskey when I have the money. It's kind of expensive, but that's where it comes from, just to let you guys know. So I'm going to do a one hand fire. Now, I've seen a lot of people do this. You know, they say if you're stuck out in the wilderness or stuck somewhere and your hand is hurt, you want to do one you want to be able to light a fire with one hand now i understand everybody you know taking their bushcraft knife and trying to process wood with one hand or taking their fell rod and trying to strike it with one hand but to be honest with you i always carry my edc pack in my edc pack i got several ways to light a fire and a couple of them are lighters so why not use a lighter if you're going to have it on you? I always have a lighter. I smoke, so I constantly have a lighter on me. I mean, that's going to be the easiest way to light a one-handed fire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my left hand behind my back. I'm going to leave this bad boy closed. I'm going to stick my left hand behind my back, and I'm going to process some little wood. And I'm going to try to get a fire side of one hand, but I am going to lose, use a lighter. I don't know. I'm going to use a peanut lighter, which is a little different. I got to unscrew the top and all of that. So, but it is, uh, what do you call it? Like an open flame. I'm not going to use a ferro rod and stuff because I don't think you would have to. If you're actually stuck and you're actually prepared to be stuck, you're going to have this shit on you to do what I'm going to do. So, I got some wood here. I got some little sticks that we're going to process down. We're going to come over here and do the fire. Dilly, you want to come over here? Yeah. So, we're going right, to process down go. some sticks with one hand. All right, this is kind of a wet stick, but we got some other shit over here. going to be easy to light with the lighter. I'll grab all this. Oh, I'm going to even cheat even further because when I talk about being prepared, I'm talking about being prepared. Now, in my kit here, which I can most likely open one hand. Let me put this down. I got Just everything open it with your mouth. I could need to light a fire. So I could come in here. I could take this. I could take my neck knife that I always have on me. And I could process this down. Because I'm going to always have emergency tinder on me like this. Now, obviously, this isn't natural tinder that I found in the fucking woods. And I'm not processing down bark and making a bird's nest and trying to get everything good. This is just the simplest way of lighting a fire with one hand. Now, this is going to be the hardest part, which I'm going to twist off like that. Stick. All right. Yeah. Now I got my little lighter here. I get light. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> See? It just came before. It's still not easy. <laughs> it's still not easy. But continue to one hand. There we go. All right, do that. Blow that bad boy out. All right, take some sticks. Right, little sticks. Sorry. Sorry. Throw it over the bad boy. Right, take these and throw it over. And, I mean, in an emergency situation, if you are prepared, it is pretty goddamn easy to start a fire. Now, I got this idea from Bushcraft Hippie, who was out there with his ferro rod, trying to hold it with his foot. And <laughs> I respect him for that. I really do. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to it, if you are prepared, it's going to be that freaking easy to start a fire. that out of the way so it doesn't burn my knife away one hand still grab my cigarette it's pretty good and watch the bitch burn I mean it really isn't that hard guys you know everybody's making a big deal <laughs> trying to do it the old-fashioned way and yeah if you had to it would be good to have that skill but I'm hoping not to have to 
I'm hoping to always be prepared. And that's what, you know, prepping and survival and all the shit that we're trying to figure out here is about. Being prepared. There you go. Now, the only reason I didn't do it in the fire pit, because it would have been a little harder, not being able to hold the shit with my toes and stuff like that, you know, but there you go. That's, I mean, that's self-sustaining right there. You could go and gather more wood, all that, whatever you had to do. I'm not going to light a huge fire right here because it's not in my fire pit, and I got my shelter right here, and with a bunch of dried leaves, and I don't want that shit going up right against my house, but here you go. And that took five minutes. Not even. <laughs> What'd that take to get that going? That was nothing. Five. That took like but four minutes. That's the whole thing about being prepared. You want to have your easy fire starters on you. You want to have lighters on you. You want to have redundancy to your lighters. And you want to carry a kit with you at all times. This is what I have learned with all the shit that I've watched and researched and all that. If you're going to get stuck, be prepared to get stuck. It's great to have the skills if you're not prepared, but you're better off being prepared. You know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to make this quick video to show you guys that it's really not that hard as long as you're prepared. And I wanted to give a couple of thanks, man. I mean, Jesse's Mountain just gave me an awesome review. Awesome, man. She loves my kids. My kids are they love this shit and they love it i gave you her know, a my, shout out my son dylan started his own bushcraft channel the bushcraft snake um tokahara bushcraft gave me an awesome shout out he's he's over there and um i think he's in england but it's it's nice seeing the other side you know what i'm saying across the pond <laughs> but i just feel like i'm making friends all over the place which is great you know it's it's good to have contacts it's good to have um people that are like you people that you could kind of trust i mean obviously i don't know you guys to face to face and i don't know you everyday lives but um i kind of feel like i do you know and and with all the love i've been getting out of this community it's just freaking awesome and um i'm sorry i haven't been making many videos i got a lot of shit going on at home and i kind of got stuck on that show game of thrones i watched five seasons i think in a month <laughs> but um we're going to try to make more videos. And as far as what I mentioned in one of my earlier videos, Dumbass of the Week, I am trying to get Dumbass of the Week going. But there's a lot of shit that's stopping me, including the, the new YouTube laws about harassment and all that shit. Now, Dumbass of the Week was supposed to be a quarter-inch piece of plywood cut out into a silhouette of a person. And the stupidest person in the news that, that week would get his face slapped on the silhouette and we would fuck it up. We'll hack it together. We'll hack it apart with machetes. We'll light it on fire. I was thinking of doing a collaboration with somebody where they could shoot it up, you know, with guns and shit. I obviously can't shoot guns in my backyard. I got way too many neighbors, and I'm in this suburban environment where I can't shoot my guns, which sucks ass. You know, I want to move someplace where I can just walk out my back door and shoot. But I can't do that. But Dumbass of the Week is kind of slowly progressing man i'm trying to figure out all the legalities of it and i don't want people to, i know people are going to get offended i know that for a fact like if i if i took a wooden five five and a half foot six foot silhouette of a person and put obama's face on it and hacked it with a machete i'm pretty sure i'm going to get some hate mail on that one <laughs> you know but i really don't give a shit i mean it's my opinion and that's what makes our country great is that we have the freedom of speech and the right to bear arms and our constitution is what holds us together and all these fuckers trying to break it i don't even know what to say about them i don't want to go too into political shit man i'm not a very political person but this country is scaring me lately but on a happier note guys i appreciate all the love i hope you liked the video and um please subscribe like the video share and um comment of course i love the comments i love responding to the comments sometimes they're quick responses sometimes they're longer responses but it all depends on what's going on in my day but thank you very much guys and have a great night take care